It is pretty common to find a factorial symbol when dealing with sequences and series. The factorial of a positive integer n, denoted by n factorial, is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. So for example, 4 factorial equals 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 or simply 24. Notice that within 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 we have other factorials say for instance 3 factorial and also 2 factorial. So in fact 4 factorial can be expressed as 4 multiplied by 3 factorial or 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 factorial or 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 factorial. The fact that we can express 4 factorial as 4 multiplied by 3 factorial leads on to a very important property. Hence, one property we will see a lot in sequences and series is that n plus 1 factorial can be expressed as n plus 1 multiplied by n factorial. Intuitively, 1 factorial is simply 1, but perhaps not so obvious is that 0 factorial also equals 1. So now, what if we wanted to evaluate 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial, what should we do? Of course we could evaluate 5 factorial and 3 factorial explicitly and then divide. But instead by using properties of the factorial, we can evaluate this question much faster. So 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial is simply 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 all divided by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. As you can see, 3 by 2 by 1 will cancel with 3 by 2 by 1 and we're simply left with 5 multiplied by 4 over 1 or simply 20. Alternatively, we could have expressed 5 factorial as 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 factorial and hence the three factorials would have cancelled with each other and we would immediately have obtained the answer of 20. Now let's evaluate n plus 2 factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial. Here we can see we have n plus 2 factorial which is n plus 2 multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 and so forth all the way down to 3 by 2 by 1. And at the bottom we have n minus 1 factorial which is n minus 1 by n minus 2 and so forth all the way down to 3 by 2 by 1. So once again the n minus 1 n minus 2 are all going to cancel and we're simply left with n plus 2 by n plus 1 by n. Alternatively, we could have expressed n plus 2 factorial in terms of n minus 1 factorial, such as n plus 2 multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by n multiplied by n minus 1 factorial, all divided by n minus 1 factorial. And like the last example, n minus 1 factorials cancel, so we're simply left with n plus 2 by n plus 1 multiplied by n.